Hey guys, Katrina here. I wanted to take the time to further explain and demonstrate what the scissor grip is. Uh, Rem previously made one on one of his other videos that uh, led into a fountain, but since it was in Russian, it took me a while to figure out what it exactly it was that he was doing, so I, I really want to take the time to explain this more thoroughly to you guys. So the scissor grip is really particular to Russian grip because of you know all the space that we have right here. So what it is is you're just going to take um, three fingers and just kind of cradle your fan like this with my palm facing back. And what's going to happen, and you're going to leave your forefinger out. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take my forefinger and I'm going to slide it in the fan like so. So just like this and slide it in. And then I'm going to give it a flick towards my thumb and it's going to rotate around and I'm going to hook it with it just on my forefinger. And to get it back over, we're going to lay our hand out flat like this, and we're going to flick it back over this way, and it's going to land back in these three fingers. So to slow it down, so put my finger here, I'm going to grab a hold of my fan, it's going to come up, open, and you're going to kind of go ahead and cradle it right here, and then just let it drop. And then to go back over, like I said, you just put your fingers down here, it's going to come around. And you're going to kind of pinch it right here, and then you're just going to hook it with these three and bring it back down. So just take a couple minutes to practice going back and forth with that. And just get comfortable with that. And definitely make sure that you can do it with both hands. Both hands, you are going to be going uh, towards your thumb. Okay. Um... To show exactly why this is uh, relevant, so when I have my hand down like this, my palm is down and facing back. And then whenever that I flip it, my palm is now facing out. In order for that to happen without using the scissor grip, I would actually have to like fold my fan over and break the plane, which is fine, that's no problem, but I definitely wanted to figure out you know, how to do this um, without having to do that. So for the first exercise that I'm going to have us do to really get comfortable with this, uh, you're definitely going to need to know the two different kind of forward weaves for fan, which is going to be just your basic forward, forward weave, thumb lead going around your body. And then you also have the one where your hand is facing up and it's going to be pinky lead and it's going to be going around like so. And Rem also has uh, two tutorials that break down both of these very well, so I highly suggest if you're uncomfortable with these or don't know exactly what's going on to go check those out and practice those first. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting out with my palm facing back with the three fingers in and I'm going to be doing a forward weave. But then when I get here in front of me, I'm going to give it that flick and as it flips around, it's going to follow around and now we are in the palm up forward weave. Now when I'm weaving this, it's just on my my finger here. So that's going to take a little bit of practice to get comfortable with that. So it's going to be going forward, flip, and now we're in this weave. And to get back to the other one, the transition is actually going to happen behind us. And it's going to flip around. And now we're back in our starting weave. So here in front, now we're weaving behind, and as it comes down and behind us back here, we're going to give it that flick, and it's going to come around back onto our fingers. And once you get comfortable with that, you can stand here and very easily just flip between the two. So you're not going to stand here and flip between the two constantly, but this is really important when you start getting into uh, more advanced weaves and different kind of moves, such as the fountain and everything, which uh, I plan on making a couple more of these uh, to give us more exercises on how this is very helpful. All right, so one more time. It's down and in front of us. We're going to weave forward as it comes in front of us around and immediately start this here when it's down in the back give it that foot forward and we're back in the start and definitely make sure that you can do it uh, comfortably with with both hands all right 
Um, so hopefully that helps, guys. Uh, if you have any further questions or need me to demonstrate uh, anything better, just please comment below and let me know. Thanks.